Welcome to the glorious Peak District. More specifically, Shining Tor. Trick points just there. My good friend Pilgrim Chris is just there. And it's a glorious evening. We're looking off west towards Manchester, Macclesfield. And if it wasn't so hazy, possibly Jodrell Bank, Shutlingslow. Just over that way is the Cat and Fiddle, where we've parked the cars. So this was a spare of the moment, relatively last minute decision, for myself anyway. Um, we've got a few other folks over there. We've got Stuart, Matt and Rose and they've planned a two-day walk but myself sadly I'm working so finished at 7 p.m. this evening drove straight up parked the car at the cat and fiddle I'm gonna bivy next to a wall or something like that anyway tonight awake at 5 o'clock and go to work for 7 in the morning so it's gonna be quite interesting there's a nice breeze it's been very warm but there is a nice breeze up on Shining Tor at the minute and as you can see the cotton grass is blowing gently in the breeze it's great Chris is over there taking some photos we're just trying to find a relatively flat place for everyone to pitch the tent and just down there is the rest of the gang and it's looking quite good pardon me <laughs> it's looking quite good did have one pint down at the cat and fiddle so just repeating on me there apologies right so i'll turn the camera this way hopefully you can hear me through the wind noise Around about, well, I'll tell you exactly what time it is. It is 9:45 in the evening on Friday, the 19th of July, 2013, and the sun has not long since set over towards the west. And it's a really stunning sunset with lots of colours. It's a nice little section down here with lots of cotton grass. I'm going to put the bag on both shoulders actually. Jump down. These nice little clumps of cotton grass. The cotton grass is everywhere at the minute. But it really does look stunning. So I think this is going to be the place for the camp. Should be able to find a very small area to lay the bivy. My trusty old army Gore-Tex bivy. Everyone's unpacking now. Okay, so join us shortly. back. So that's the trusty old army Gore-Tex bivy bag. Sleeping bag, roll mat and that's it. Just throw it out and then in the morning throw it back in the bag. So 
that's be that. Are we relatively flat then, Chris? Well, reasonably so, but I'm going to sleep with my head at the foot end. Yeah. And I'm just sleeping on inner only tonight. Yeah. It's lovely, a bit windy, but um, the slope is sort of a bit weird. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's sloping the right way. Yeah. But it isn't when you're lying in it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully the wind isn't going to make it bash against your face there. Well, if it does, I'll have to turn myself around. C'est la vie. Yep. So we've got a um, waxing gibbous moon. So this should be a fair bit of light later on. Which is a good thing because I haven't got a head torch. <laughs> I've got bare minimum kit this evening. But it really is a great evening. You'll be able to see Shutlings Low just there. A little uh, hill in the distance.
rather cloudy. But that was the forecast for today. This last week, or possibly longer, we've been enjoying an amazing summer. High 20s to low 30s and clear blue sky skies. It's always good. But today, the clouds rolled in. I did check the uh, forecast um, throughout the week and it has been forecast all week for this. So I was unsure as to whether I was going to Bivy last night. I was going to meet Stuart, Matt, Rose and Chris um, when they set off from the Cat and Fiddle. I was always going to walk up with them to Shining Tour, which I'm just coming off now. Um, but as I'm at work this morning, I was unsure as to whether I was going to bivy or stay with them for the night. But I thought, nah, what the heck? Can't miss a night out on the hills, in the hills, amongst the hills. However, what I call it. So I set the alarm for um, 4.50 and jumped straight up, as you'll no doubt see on the video. Didn't even bother taking things to pieces. I just rolled the uh, bivy, my mat and sleeping bag up in one and chucked it in the bag and I was on the way in around about five minutes. Really didn't bring much, much with me last night at all because like I say I've got to be at work at seven so I need to be as fast and as light as possible and get away as quick as I could. I'm hoping to be back at the car for around about well because I've set off a little bit quicker than I thought I was going to. I should probably be there for around about 20 past five-ish, something like that. And the car is in the, well, I hope it still is, <laughs> in the Cat and Fiddle car park. Right, so let's get a move on. Can't be late for work. Starting to drop below the cloud base now. It still does look pretty murky underneath. Down there is the legendary Cat and Fiddle Road. Classed as one of the best driving roads in the country. Controversial or not, um, it now has average speed cameras along its length. Right, I'm almost back at the car now. This is the legendary Cat and Fiddle pub. So it's taken me around just over 20 minutes to get back to the car. So that's not bad at all. And let's just hope the car's still there. It's been a short and sweet um, overnight in between working hours. You can't miss these opportunities. <laughs> 